Nintendo just announced the Nintendo Switch Lite. Will it suck? Will it be amazing? Let's find out. Let's watch. We're going to be watching the announcement uh, video from Nintendo about the Switch and uh, get our reactions along the way. So let's go ahead and play. Let's do it. Let's count the snaps <laughs> so we can switch. So immediately he's coming out talking about the Switch. And I know something amazing is about to happen. <laughs> oh, he's like, thanks a lot for buying all of our stuff. Here's more stuff to buy. Here's the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> look at these guys. They're so pumped. They're like, look at us. Because all I do is make my friends play Switch every time I go anywhere. I like that everybody has the neon Joy-Cons. Like, it is the most popular, I will say. that A lot more people buy the neon ones than the plain gray. That's the one you know and love. A new edition. Ah! Oh, there it is. It's All so right. yellow. <laughs> Let's pause right here. So immediately, it's yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Donkey Kong banana. <laughs> yeah. So did you have like any kind of reaction when you saw this? I was just like, wow, that is tiny. Look how small yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. Like it's hard to see really because it's not right now at least not compared to the nintendo switch but you can just by looking at this tell that the joy cons or the controls are like much closer to the screen yeah which is, i like that as a mostly handheld player um i liked that everything was just a lot closer uh because sometimes some of those games felt really awkward mm -hmm. um to play in handheld mode mm -hmm. so i think this will help a lot uh, something else I'm noticing here is for the left side, they switched out the four buttons for a D-pad. A D-pad, thank God. Yeah, and it looks like the the share button and the home button have been moved further away uh, from the joystick. You know, something that I was afraid that they were going to do uh, when they were have just had the rumors about the Switch Lite was replace the joysticks with, like, you know, with the 2DS head or like the 3DS head where it was just like a track wheel. Oh, yeah. I hated those two. Yeah, I was really afraid that they're going to do something like that. So I, I'm happy that they, they kept the Joy-Cons here or the joysticks here. All right, let's keep going. I love the yellow, though. Yes, dedicated to handheld play. It looks so tiny here. I mean, look at it. It's a little baby. It looks like a phone. The front looks like this. <laughs> the back looks like this. <laughs> Look how yellow. Here's the butt. <laughs> I do like it doesn't have a kickstand, so I won't feel like I'm going to break that thing. That's right. Look at that tail. That's right. Okay. Yeah, let's let's pause here. So these are the three colors that it's launching with. What do you think about this? I love it. The more variety, the better, obviously. It gives people more choices. Mm -hmm. um, as a consumer, I love it. As someone who sells these things, it's going to piss me off. I'm just going to give everyone a heads up. but Because uh, <laughs> I'm going to go, which switch do you want? Oh, I want the tiny one. What color? Oh, I don't know. What colors do you have? Okay, well. <laughs> yeah, people just like. <laughs> Too many options yeah. makes people crazy. Yeah, exactly. But I like that they have variety. I think it sets them apart. Yeah, it's cool that they came out with three. You know, I'm kind of surprised that there isn't like a red one or like a hot pink one uh, to match the the neon Joy-Con that they have. Oh, yeah, true. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm going to do in editing? Throw up uh, an image of our logo, 1UP Kids logo. Oh! Because the colors are almost <laughs> exactly the it same. It is. That's awesome. They got the yellow. They got the, the teal blue. Well, the, I was going to get a teal one, but now I guess I'll get a yellow one. They're missing the pink. They're missing the pink. And if you could put a sticker on the back of it. 
I know. Branding. We, we, need, we need to make one of Kit stickers. Exactly. <laughs> so much branding. Oh, man, I'm totally going to do that. So when I play it out and about, people are going to be like, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is plug. This is the special one of Kids edition. <laughs> turquoise, they're calling it. Turquoise. Oh, yeah, I said teal. Turquoise, teal. I, so I'm so i partially oh, colorblind. So. Snap one. We got the snap. Okay, this was my favorite part of uh, any Switch anything, is seeing how unrealistic people are with playing their games outside of their house. Does this Seriously. ever really happen? I don't think they so. They got skateboards and bicycles. Yeah, make up your mind, kids. Are you skating or are you biking? These LA kids. <laughs> so California. Let's go to the skate park and play Switch, bro. Yeah, it, <laughs> I, I brought this skateboard with me on my back. Yeah, right. Let's play, well, the let's play the Switch. Oh, look, they got each color. Of course they do. How did they manage that? It's always Mario Kart. Mario Kart is very universal, which I think is good. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if they have, like, download play. Uh, I guess that's not something that's coming out with the Switch. Oh, uh, look, she's climbing a rock like Link. And, and now we're going to like play the Switch. Her buddy's <laughs> just playing the Switch. She, hold on. <laughs> she, they paid money to get in here. <laughs> they did. To, to the, do the rock climbing. She is up there, busting ass, <laughs> and her buddy is just, like, not even paying right. attention. She's just, like, down there, like, yeah, you got it, you're good. <laughs> yeah, but I got Mario Kart. <laughs> Oh, she came down to join her. Oh, it's Smash Brothers. Oh. Excuse me. They got the Smash Bros. What are these guys doing? Oh, we're in we're in Tokyo. Let's play Smash Brothers. It's like Chinese New Year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we came all the way from New York to play Smash Brothers. <laughs> Look at these guys. Oh man, that's great. Oh, camping. Camping. Camping with Ugh. the Switch. This is how you would camp. Right? <laughs> with the, with my Switch, except take away the tents, take away the outside, and take away all of that camping stuff. He came stuff. out with, like, the hot coffee. The hottest of coffees. Oh, they're going to take oh, it to space, too? Oh, they brought it to space! Mallory. <laughs> you ever play Switch in space? Not yet, but now I know that it's possible. I like that he's playing the moon level. Well, of course he is. He's an astronaut. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, I can relate to this. I've walked in its face. <laughs> I, too, have been to the moon. Oh, uh, and now we're coming down to... Okay, the, this is a little bit more yeah, realistic. This is more my life. This is my life right here in the bed. That's you? Yeah. That's you. Oh, I don't feel like doing anything. Let me just uh, play... Well, not Xenoblade, but I would play, you know, the Switch in the in the bed. Good night, he, Donkey Kong He didn't banana. even need that light. He got that, that light on next to him. So they're calling it um, the Nintendo Switch Lite. Yeah, they uh, they dropped the ball with light switch. I was gonna say or the toggle light switch. <laughs> like every time I talk about it, I've always said light switch. Um, but at least they reverse it, drop the ball, Nintendo. Nintendo Switch Nintendo Switch Oh man. Optimized for handheld play. So this is what I'm kind of curious about. Um, the whole thing with the Switch, let me pause it. The whole thing with the Switch is that it is already optimized for handheld play as well as like home play. And this one only does handheld. So if it's more optimized, if it's not just like a marketing term and this actually is more optimized for handheld play, I'm curious what it is, like if it has like a brighter screen. I was going to say, think about what the capabilities would be for the screen itself. Uh, now that ev everything is only made to be played handheld, think of the quality of uh, the games, how they're going to look on that thing. Mm -hmm. um, because now they don't have to worry about like, oh, if it's docked, it's going to run in 1080, but if it's in your hand, it's 720. Like, mm -hmm. I bet you everything will play in 1080 handheld mm -hmm. because that's what the machine is for. Yeah, I'm, I'm just curious um, if there's going to be like a like anti-glare on the screen or if there's going to be like a longer battery life. Yeah, um, I don't want any like gyroscoping movement. I mm -hmm. feel like that is such a waste mm -hmm. of time. Oh, that's a good point. Because, you know, like if you played Splatoon handheld, you can only shoot... Uh, you know, somebody else in gyroscoping mode, which was really yeah. annoying. Um, and same with some of the Zelda puzzles. Like, you'd have to move your you, entire you have Switch. You'd to move it. Um, oh. And it was just kind of, like, really annoying. Interesting. You know what else I'm thinking about? Mario Party. Because you could only play you could only that play with, the... with individual Joy-Cons. Yep. Like, I don't think you can play that 
with in handheld mode. You can't. I tried, and they were like, "Hey, take your your take your Joy Cons off," and I was like, "No." <laughs> but also, if you're playing Mario Kart handheld, can individual Joy Cons connect? Be via synced? Bluetooth? Uh, well, they said that you could put the Switch Lite in the dock, so maybe if you dock it with other ones, you can sync it that way, or it you could dock. Uh, or not dock, you can sync it via Bluetooth to mm -hmm. other switch, main mainline Switch consoles. Like, if I... Oh, that's interesting, too. If I, today, with my Switch, wanted to play Mario Kart on the go, I would, like, remove the Joy-Cons, and then each one is an individual connection. Mm -hmm. But I don't leave the Joy-Cons in and then connect a second controller as uh, as a sync. So I'm curious if you have like the two already connected, if you can connect an individual one still, like if it recognizes these are two Joy-Cons, but then there's this one Joy-Con. I suddenly have so many questions <laughs> about Joy-Con pairing. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm still thinking, I'm leaning more towards it is just via Bluetooth because they have those like third party GameCube controllers where you don't have to have a dongle. You literally mm -hmm. just hit sync sync and boom, boom, like mm -hmm. you're good. Um, mm -hmm. Or you could probably do like you do for other Pro Controllers where you just hook it up via the USB-C. I was going to ask about Pro Controller support too on this. If it's strictly handheld, there probably won't be any. Yeah, like, so, yeah, there's, there's no kickstand even, so you can't even just like place it up and use a Pro Controller. Yeah. So I'm wondering what what the limitations are for a uh, controller, um, so additional many controllers. Questions. Yeah. Tell me more! <laughs> I need to see, like, a spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> Break it down for me. Tell me. All right, so it's not connected to the TV. We knew that. That's fine. I, I don't, think that I don't a, care. A I, I couldn't even tell you the last time I docked my own switch to the TV. It's the sun. It's bright. The sun. This room. <laughs> it has no roof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I like. There's no separation, so there's no Joy-Con fail. You could probably will have better control. So if there is an issue with the controls, you'd have to send in the whole, the whole unit. Oh yeah, there's no, uh, no um, amiibo thing. No HD rumble. That that's fine. I'm fine with that. Oh, so you can play one two switch. But you need to. But you need to have those controls. Okay, separate. so you still can pair individual Joy Cons as long as it supports handheld mode. It's a Super Smash Brothers. That's right. So you just have to check the back of the box, yeah. basically, to see if it has that handheld icon. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad they addressed that. I know a lot of people are going to have questions. If people are going to have questions about colors on the system, yeah, that that icon then they're going to have questions about what controllers actually work with this. It's like going to be with like the Wii U, can I use my Wii controllers like all over again? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Do I need to use the gamepad? Yeah. Okay, so they have a website about it. It's just so cute. I love it. And so, like I said, I was leaning towards the tur turquoise, excuse me, but now I want the yellow one. I was going to ask. <laughs> so like turquoise, yellow. I think I'm going to do the yellow. Especially if we can get those stickers made. Well, if you're doing yellow, <laughs> I might do turquoise. Well, how dare you? I want the turquoise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you do turquoise. I'll get the gray. Okay. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll get gray. <laughs> All right, it's coming out. Did they say here? September. Oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> okay, September. Well before the holidays. Yeah, which I think is, is smart. It? Yeah, that's it. That's the whole thing. That's the whole video. All right, so um, I don't know if they said it there, but September. September, yeah. Um, you, I guess you already have, like, the SKUs in the system, like... Yes. Ready to go? Yeah. No, right, not for this. Not for this. No, not yet. No, not yet. Yeah, but All they right. did say September, but they haven't put any of that information out there yet. Well, prepare to get hyped, guys. Yep. Um, so, so, plenty of conversations coming out about this, I'm sure, across the board. Um, I already have a Switch. You already have a Switch. Uh, what's that, $300? Mm -hmm. I believe the price point on this is $200, $200. recommended retail. Um, what do you think just about pricing on this thing? I think it's smart. Yeah. It's a, a good way to get more people with a Switch. 
uh, especially for families who don't want to commit to that $300 price point. Mm -hmm. uh, you got multiple kids or you um, don't understand how Switch works. This is mm -hmm. a lot easier to just be like, yeah, just take this with you and you can play it wherever you want. Yeah, I think it's super smart. I think this kind of makes the, the mainline Switch like the elite experience. This is like the premier experience. But then the individual handheld modes, I think that is more individual oriented, where the Switch might be more like one per family, mm -hmm. one per household. I think with the with the Switch lights, the light switch, uh, that it's more like mo you could have one per kid or like one per family member. Yeah. Um, especially if there's a sale before the holidays and it drops down to like 150 ish per unit. Don't know if that's going to happen, but I could definitely see uh, multiple units per family. And I think it's super smart for Nintendo to come out with something like this because they've already bridged the, the divide between 3DS and the Switch or the Wii U. But now anyone who had a 3DS but didn't want to take the plunge into the Switch can buy this because it is kind of like the next step in portable handheld only uh, Nintendo games. Right. What do you think about that? Yeah, I uh, I primarily play my Switch uh, handheld and on the go, and I think this is just super super great, especially for someone uh, you know who just really just wants to just play those like one player games, you know, like the Zelda or um, Mario Odyssey or whatever. Like you can mm -hmm. you can just enjoy that without having to worry about like, do I have to put this on the TV? What if I don't want to put it on mm -hmm. my TV? Like, what if I don't have enough HDMI ports? Like, That's a good point too. Like, it seems like this would be better for, like, one-player games. Yeah, and I think that's great. Or people who play, you know, with other people, but they don't want to buy extra Joy-Cons. Mm -hmm. Like, if, like, oh, you don't have any more Joy-Cons, well, let me just bring this other thing with me. Like, this may not be the best way to play Mario Kart or, like, Smash Brothers with other people. At least, like, couch co-op. Yeah. You know, like, you could still play online. I was going to say, if you do a lot of online play, that's probably pretty good. Mm -hmm. Or if and you want to take it with you somewhere, like, if you take a trip or whatever and you want to play in the hotel yeah yeah exactly but it's not going to be like since it's not connecting to your tv this isn't going to be like your central unit yeah. in your house you know um so if pretend you didn't have a switch there's a person out there who doesn't have a switch uh but now there's these two options mm -hmm. switch or a switch light personally what do you gravitate to i would probably still go towards the switch light yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just because um, I know that if I want to play a game on my TV, it's going to be on my Xbox. Mm, uh, you, yeah. You buy a Nintendo console for the Nintendo exclusives. Like, I'm not going to play Wolfenstein on my Switch. I mean, I can, but I won't. Um, it's not the best way to play the game. Right. I'd rather play it on my Xbox, you know, play it in 4K, whatever. Mm -hmm. But if I want to play Mario, I'm going to want to play it whenever I want because those are super casual. Pick it up, put it down. Mm -hmm. um, and it's easier to do it handheld than it is anything else. I absolutely agree. Um, I think a ton of people would favor this console than the actual Switch, uh, to be honest with you. Um, I think it's super smart. I'm incredibly excited for this, and come September, I'm going to be in line, day <laughs> one, picking up the turquoise colored. Right? You're getting the yellow? I'm going to commit right now to the yellow. I We got it on video. I'm going yellow. Okay. Uh, catch you guys next time.